You guys, I have some tea. Oh my god. It's like an uncrustable kind of. Gonna be eating deer for breakfast. I would thought you were tripping. And then also a couple of steaks and then redfish. I feel like Florida Loki has like a curse on me. Workouts after vacation always hit different. You have a big old head. I forgot my reusable bag. five years ago if I was gonna be eating deer for breakfast I would have thought you were tripping but that's what we're having I have venison ground up that I cooked yesterday with eggs and then salsa on top and these are the siete tortillas which are okay they're not very soft so they're like kind of the texture is weird not my favorite but they're pretty low calorie which I like and not that I'm like concerned about calories, but some tortillas can be like 210 calories. I'm like, miss me with that. And these I'm pretty sure are 70 a piece and they're clean. The ingredients are so clean. That's what I love. This is clearly very high protein with the venison and also the egg in it. Healthy source of fat. And then my carb is coming from the tortilla. If I don't have high protein in the morning, I feel like I have not the best energy. I have cravings through the roof and my hunger is all over the place. So breakfast for me is so important, especially because I eat and then I usually work out, which I'm gonna do today. You guys are so good though. Anything taco, I'm in. Okay, here is the gym fit. Well, I'm gonna go for a walk first, but this is what I'm wearing. These are the Young LA biker shorts from a minute ago and then this is an amazon top y'all can find all of my gym clothes and stuff on my like to know it i'll have this outfit linked because i think this is so cute and it's so flattering it's so comfy love so excited to work out today though y'all don't even know workouts after a vacation always hit different <laughs> okay i just pulled up at gold's i'm gonna hit a full body lift because i wasn't lifting a lot on vacation i was lacking a little bit but i still was working out but i wasn't lifting a lot i did like some stuff but very very low intensity um so we're gonna get a full body lift in probably like two lower body exercises and then pull-ups dips maybe like some shoulder exercise something like that and then we're gonna go to a coffee shop and work with a friend I'm running a little bit behind so we're just gonna knock this out really quickly and have a good workout i didn't want to go to gold's but we're here i wanted to go to the rise gym but there were so many people there and i was like <gasps> Just finished the workout. I was moving. I went so quick, but I did everything dumbbell for legs. So I did heavy dumbbell glute bridges on the bench. And then I did dumbbell sumo squats with a dumbbell between my legs, like holding one. And then I did Bulgarian split squats. In the first and the last set, I did like a superset body weight. I'm literally dying. I'm gonna spit this gum out. And then I did the assisted pull-up machine because I know that when I do pull-ups, I kind of pull forward and round my shoulders over. And I'm trying to strengthen my lats more so I can do pull-ups kind of just like straight up and down, like good form. I did three sets of that. I started sweating when I was doing that. So that just like hit me. And then I did some body weight dips and then I ended off with some hanging knee to chest, like abs, all in like 40 minutes. Oh my God. I'm gonna rinse off and then I'm gonna change and then we're gonna go to the coffee shop and work because I need to edit my podcast and then I'm just hanging out with my friend. So that's what we're doing next. It's always the worst when you work out in a rush or like are in a rush after your workout and you're still sweating and then you shower, but after you get out of the shower, you're still hot and sweating. Like I feel like the shower is almost pointless at that point, but I'm just gonna take like a freezing cold rinse off shower. Not gonna wash my hair and then we're gonna change. <laughs> 
hopefully not be sweating profusely. The sun was so hot in Florida, I am missing it already. And I posted this on my Snapchat, but I feel like Florida Loki has like a curse on me and I'm not even exaggerating because the first time I've ever been on a plane was to Disney World in Florida with my parents and my brother. I was like 10 years old probably and I got severely plane sick. It was really bad. Like I was throwing up the entire flight and I just felt so unwell. Like it was horrible. That was the first experience to Florida. Second time I went with my friends in high school and I got a really bad rash on my chest and I literally couldn't even go outside. And it was so itchy, but I couldn't touch it because it would make it worse. Oh, just thinking about it. And I've got this before actually, when I went to I think Punta Cana with my parents. Um, I don't know what it is. Either my skin is like allergic to sunscreen or it's just the sun down there. Honestly, I'm pretty sure it's because of the sunscreen because I used sunscreen here for the first time in Texas a few weeks ago and I got the same rash. I'm like, it has to be the sunscreen or my, my reaction from the sunscreen in the sun. It's gotta be something. So that happened and, I, and it completely kind of ruined my trip because I couldn't even go outside. I couldn't really tan. Like I was sitting in the shade the whole time, like so uncomfortable because it was so itchy. Third time I went, I went in high school with my friends again and I got boat sick when everyone was parasailing. So I was sitting on the boat. Everyone was like having fun, like taking turns doing their parasailing. And I grabbed the bucket and literally couldn't hold it in. It was horrible. Every single time something bad happens, something wrong happens. But this trip, the trips are always so fun. Like every time I go to Florida, it's fun. There's just something that always happens. And then this previous one that I just was on last week, plane sick. And I haven't got plane sick in so long. Literally, it's been so long, like years and years and years. So that was horrible. My stomach was a little bit messed up for the rest of the week too. I think it just kind of like set me off and then everything else was making me feel not great. Like every Uber ride, I was so sensitive. I'm like, we're getting an Uber XL. I don't care how much it is. I'm not sitting in a tiny car in downtown Miami going through traffic. Like we're not doing it. If there's like two things that I have to be like a little bit bougie on and spend extra money on, it's plane tickets, I'm getting first class, or I'm getting, is it premium or like economy plus, whatever it's called. It's always happening. Like I cannot sit in the back and I have to sit by the window. And then for Ubers, no small cars. I'm not sitting in a small car. I can't. I didn't think it was gonna make too big of a difference. And then I got the smallest Uber and I got freaking car sick. Like I just felt super nauseous. And then my friend was like, well, that's because we were in the back of a small car. I literally got car sick too, she said. And I'm like, oh my gosh. So yeah. <laughs> That's like my non-negotiables is motion sickness BS. Florida's fun though. I loved it so freaking much. And the reason why I went is because um, my management company was having everyone in Miami for swim week. And it was just like a big content week of like pictures and like events. It was really fun. So blessed to be with Moxie. I actually, they gave us a hat and I might wear this. I love hats. I actually do look pretty good in hats. I just don't know if I want to kind of mess up my hair and flatten it down. What am I doing? Not focusing. Mascara. You guys, if there's one thing about Miami though, there's so many people that have work done, which I'm not like hating on it at all, but it made me want to be like, I want to get my tits done. I want to get veneers, which is not good. Like that is horrible influencing because it just being in that area just made me want to not change myself, but just like exemplify. Is that the right word? Intensify. You know what I'm trying to say? Certain features of myself. To be honest, I kind of do want to get my teeth done. I don't love the, my first six teeth. They're fine. They're straight, but like the shape is what is throwing me off. Like I kind of have vampire teeth low key. And like, it's fine. My teeth definitely could be worse. And I literally had braces for I think like three years to fix everything. I mean, I'm not like super self-conscious about it. It's just like, if they could be better, why not make them better? But again, veneers are so effing expensive. I don't know if I want to spend thousands of dollars on my teeth right now when I could be throwing that money into my clothing brand or just other things, you know what I mean? So that's probably going to be held off for a minute unless I get like a brand deal and I could like partner with a dentist and get a little discount. Perks of having a social media following. Y'all could start one any freaking day. If you need to sign to start a social media page, do it right now. Do it today. And just start posting about yourself, what you do throughout the day, what you cook for yourself, maybe fitness, maybe you're into other things, maybe you're really good at advice, you could do like a podcast. It's so beneficial no matter what career you have because it just puts yourself out there. It's free marketing. It's free marketing for yourself, for your business, for your services anything. And I don't mean like a personal page. I mean like 
consistent posting every single day to build like a community. Because a personal page is one thing, but having like intention behind it is another thing. Okay, I have to be super close to the mirror to do my mascara, so hold on a sec. You guys, I have some tea. Oh my gosh, not really tea, but something happened to me and I'm gonna be sharing it on the All In One podcast, which is the podcast that I just started. New episodes every single Wednesday, but y'all, I had an experience with, I'm just gonna say someone really famous and I need to share. You can follow the podcast page at a I won all in one, but the number one podcast. And it's all in one podcast on Spotify and Apple Music. And y'all, I have a story to tell. When in Miami, baby. I'm actually kind of scared to tell a story on my podcast because I'm like, what if he sees it? I'm not going to say his name, but that's just like, I don't want to be like, I'm, I don't want to seem like I'm like fangirling because I'm not. I just want to tell you what happened. But like, what if he sees it? I got my eyebrows laminated and they turned out so good. Just need to be laminated and they make my face look way better. And they like even, they get evened out when I get my eyebrows laminated because this one has a scar through it. So like they're a little bit uneven, but when they get laminated and all the hairs get like pushed up and brushed up, it makes them look even. And like, where did that hair come from? It makes them way thicker. Okay, let's freaking go. That's kind of cute actually, hold on. You have a big old head. Okay, it's cute, but I don't really want it to F up my hair in case I want to like take it down later. I'll just leave it. No hat. I haven't gone grocery shopping since I got back from Florida yesterday because it's been literally like 24 hours. We have a lot of meat in our freezer and we have rice. So it's just like, I definitely need to go to the store and get like little things like fruit and stuff. But I stopped at Kroger and got two of these cookies and cream yogurts. They're not the cleanest. They definitely have a lot of ingredients, but 60 calories, 12 grams of protein. So I grabbed two of them. They're super filling and they're so good. They taste so good. And then I got a banana and now I'm probably gonna have a coffee in the coffee shop and work. I stopped at Sprouts to get a couple groceries. I told y'all before that I'm not gonna buy any meat because I have a pack of chicken in the freezer, but also Jay has a bunch of meat in our freezer in the garage full of wild game that he hunted and shot. And we just have a bunch of like ground meat. I didn't need to get any. And I took a food sensitivity test, but it's not to the point where I'm like, should avoid these foods, but peanuts like peanut butter came up on the test as me being like a little bit sensitive to it as well as egg whites which is so weird and i'm not gonna stop eating those things but it did pop up like a little bit as like a flag of watch out for this stuff so i'm not like allergic but i guess i have like a little bit of a sensitivity to it so i was like i'm gonna try this week without egg whites we'll see if it lasts because i'm just so accustomed to having egg whites and oatmeal every single day for breakfast Might as well just like try without and see how it goes having egg whites and i felt fine but also i have been starting that probiotic so that could be it too i got some zevia i like these better than the olipops because the olipops have i think like five grams of fiber so if you drink like one or two of them in a day it can kind of fuck your stomach up I don't know, there's like probiotics, prebiotics and that stuff. This is just straight seltzer water with a little bit of stevia, which I'm not against stevia, so I like this stuff a lot. And it's zero calories. But it is like $12, which is ridiculous. But like a dollar a can, that's not too bad. Olipops are like $2.50. I forgot my reusable bag. Well, actually, I just wasn't really planning on stopping at Sprouts, but oops. I had a couple of these in the car, but these are like my favorite things of all time. I need to start baking my own cookies instead of buying these. They're just like healthier cookies. Simple Mills is like my favorite brand. These are amazing. A couple of bananas, just three. Because all of them were so yellow. I'm like, if I get more than this, they're gonna turn brown. Two heads of lettuce, but let me explain. One meal, I wanna do a burger bowl with the ground meat that we have. So it's shredded lettuce. I'll just like chop it up. Like a burger salad, burger bowl, whatever. So good with lettuce. But then also I make a lot of tacos. So I wanted some lettuce for that as well. I was like, might as well just get two heads of lettuce then because I will eat them. One head of lettuce is like two burger bowls. So I was like, I definitely need more than one. For fruit, I got some cherries. They just look delicious in the store. Avocados. I got some more tortillas. I've got these before, they're pretty good. They're a little bit softer than the Siete ones, which I like. 
So got some more chocolate chips. They ran out of the Enjoy Life ones, so I got these lilies. More almond butter because I think I am going to run out of the jar that I have. I got some yogurt Chobani vanilla flavored. 70 calories, 13 grams of protein per three-fourths of a cup. That's solid. And then these looked really good. I was like, burger bowls with sweet potato fries? That would be gas. So these are just crinkle cut sweet potato fries. It says they're gluten free. They look gas. So I was like, I'm gonna get these. And medium salsa for the tacos that I make. Because I ran out this morning and that's everything. Don't ask the price because Sprouts is overpriced. I was thinking about going to Trader Joe's, but it was like 30 minutes away and it's raining. So I was like, next time. But I just like Sprouts produce so much, so that's why I just stick to it. It's fucking expensive. Why does he look like that? <laughs> you guys see my little ear? He's been loving those pig ears lately, as you can see. He doesn't finish them though. That's like with any bone. He likes bones with flavor. So this got a little flavor. The other ones don't. Sometimes that's like protective face, but he's actually just being weird right now. I want to show you guys the freezer full of meat that we have. So they all come in these containers like this. This is the ground meat. And this is Neil guys, so it's in the family of elk. He also shot a deer, which is the red stag. That's what I've been eating. I love it. It doesn't even taste gamey at all, which is why I like it so much. Like I've had white-tailed deer before because my family hunts and they would get the venison sticks and then also like steaks and then ground meat like this. And this stuff is so good. It doesn't taste gamey like white-tail sometimes does. And then there's also the venison sticks. Yup. And then there's like sausage in here, but I don't really eat that and then also a couple of steaks and then red fish which is this fish we made fish tacos with it oh, so good honestly it doesn't taste very fishy it's a lean white fish and it tastes amazing it's like juicy but not super fishy it's so good like tacos with the fish cooked up with like some lemon salt pepper garlic onion and then top it with like a greek yogurt tzatziki sauce now i would do greek yogurt lemon juice salt and pepper <sighs> So good. It's like a sour cream. So foggy. Let's go inside. This has been like my hyper fixation meal. It is so good. Instead of the sweet potato fries, I did rice just because it's easier and quicker. You could also do like onion, pickles, except I don't have those things. I realized I haven't had a ton of fat today, so I'm adding half this avocado that was in my fridge. Yum. Bon appetito, bitch. I finished editing my podcast. I clipped a ton of clips to post for short form content on like Instagram and TikTok and stuff. It's 9.38 and I'm gonna make a little snack. I just down like a bunch of cherries. I just need something a little bit more filling. So I'm doing one English muffin with this peanut butter powder, maybe jelly on the other one. That'd be good. Okay, let's make this. Jason. That's crazy. I feel like I used to live off this stuff in elementary school. So good, the grape one. Yeah. Absolutely. A little toasted peanut butter and jelly sandwich on an English muffin. There's a discount PB&J. Put some real peanut butter on here. You got real jelly on here. 
Mm-hmm. This is good. It's like an uncrustable kind of. The English muffin's so like fluffy. I feel like I haven't had one of these in so long. It's like melting, busting.